have a story for you. Today's story is called The Night Worker. The Night Worker by Kate Banks. There's the author, Kate Banks. And this one, instead of the illustrator, it just says pictures by George Hallen Slevin. The Night Worker. What do you think this story is going to be about? Sometimes when you're at school, the teacher will ask you, what do you think the story will be about? And he or she will just show you the pictures. And you have to try to guess. By looking at the pictures, what do you think the story will be about? Let's read and find out. The Night Worker by Kate Banks. There you go. Night falls, bedtime comes, Papa kisses Alex goodnight. Then he puts his hard hat on. He is an engineer and as a night, and he is a night worker. Take me with you, whispers Alex. Not tonight, says Papa. So his dad's a night worker. Then one night, Papa has a surprise. A hard hat for Alex. Come on, says Papa. And while Mama sleeps, Alex and Papa head quietly into the night. I wonder what his dad does as an engineer, where he needs a hard helmet to keep his head safe. Hmm. That's fine. Yep. A street sweeper is making its rounds. A delivery man parks his truck. He stops to talk to a policewoman. They are night workers too, said Papa. I want to be a night worker, says Alex. So this is all the different people that even when you're asleep, some people work at night, it sounds like. So the police woman's working at night. Who else did he talk to, do you remember? Delivery man, the street sweeper who cleans the street. Hmm, interesting. You see the pictures? Papa pulls into the construction site. Alex hears the rattle and clang of heavy machinery. Men are hollowing out the earth. A building is going up. This is your kind of book. Look at all the tractors and the diggers. Do you see anything? I'm not sure what they're called. What's this? Is this a cement truck? What about this one here? You know what that's called? Looks like there's a transport truck over here. There you go. So they must be building the foundation, the starting point of the building that go, is underground. Interesting. Papa and Alex switch on their flashlights and as they survey the work site, stars shine like beacons for the night workers. Look at all the buildings. Where do you think they live? Do they live in the country with all these buildings? Do you find these buildings in the country? Or do you find build tall buildings like that in a city, like the city of Guelph? Yeah, you find buildings in a city. What do you find in the country? What do you think if cities are in, or buildings are in a city, what's in the country? Farms? Yeah, farms, cows, horses. Papa stops to talk to the foreman. He spreads out a plan of the project. We're digging here, he says. He points to a bulldozer, leveling the ground. Clouds rise from the dust as the steel shovel pushes soil into a midnight mountain. An excavator rumbles and turns. It reaches its giant arm into the air and waves and waves. Alex waves back. Then it sinks its teeth into the earth and lets out a groan like a giant rolling over in bed. I didn't know that was called an excavator. I thought it was a digger. So I learned something. That's an excavator. In a corner, a cement mixer hums steadily. Men are pouring concrete and sealing off the earth. 
They are laying the foundation, Papa says. There's the cement coming out of the truck. He hoists Alex onto a railing. A crane moves its mammoth load across the sky while someone keeps watch from a booth overhead. Mammoth, that means really big. So there's the really big mammoth load. The crane. I want to help, says Alex. A big yellow loader starts its engine. You go up, says Papa. He sets Alex down beside the driver. Slowly, they crawl along the gravel. The driver puts Alex's hands on the levers. Ready, he says. Alex nods and pushes down. Oh, he's a lucky boy. He got to drive and work the levers with the adult. He's got his helmet on. They both do to keep them safe. Well done. I'm a night worker too, Alex says, emptying his load. The dump truck closes its gate and drives off. A whistle sounds. Gears grind to a halt. It's time for the midnight workers to take a break. This is all happening while we're in bed. Amazing. Papa and Alex survey the site one last time. All motion is stopped like a held breath. <gasps> so everyone's taking a break. Papa lifts Alex into his arms. I'm tired, says Alex. They head back into the night. A couple stands under a street light. A woman is walking a dog. It is late. Alice takes off his hard hat, pulls on his pajamas, and crawls into bed. He's got his stuffies with him. Morning comes. And while the city wakes, a little boy sleeps and dreams of being a night worker. The end. There, look at this artwork. You've got all your different types of trucks that you like. And that is the story of a night worker. So it'll be interesting, maybe in your class this year, when you go to school, you might meet someone whose mom or dad works at night. Maybe they're a police officer, a firefighter, a paramedic, someone who comes if you've hurt yourself, or they could be an engineer like this little boy's dad. Maybe they're a nurse or a doctor. Maybe they're the street sweeper. All sorts of jobs that happen at night that we didn't even probably think about because we were sleeping. But you might meet someone whose parents work at night. All right, have a good night, love you.